you can never have too many lasers, right? So I just got the Eon Mira 9. It's in the shop right now, in a crate, ready to be set up. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to just show you guys a full setup of the Mira 9 from crate to first cut. I heard a lot of great things about the Mira 9, so I thought, let's add it to the shop. One of the things that really appealed to me was they're actually going to be offering a metal cutting service for Eon customers only starting in the fall. So I'll be able to send them the artwork and they will drop ship metal products to my customers, powder coated, finished, and I get to just pay wholesale. So as you guys know, I used to own a big metal cutting machine and I just didn't like the process of finishing the metal and dealing with all the oxygen and nitrogen. So this works out perfect for me. So we're gonna go out to the shop. I'm gonna take apart the crate. I'm gonna do my very best to just record everything for you guys and show you the complete process of crate to cut. So let's get to it. Got my hammer, got my crowbar. Let's do this. All right, first things first, we gotta build the stand. Well, less we, more her. She's like the Ikea building queen. She builds all the furniture and stuff in our house. So she's the muscle. So she's gonna build it. I might help, we'll see. Seven minutes, that's all it took. I know that's two, but it took seven. This is just my universal seven minute symbol. <laughs> all right, we got the, the crew ready to go here. Try to lift this on. We're gonna try with the, the family, my teenage daughter, teenage son, my five foot one wife. See if we can do this. <laughs> all right, stretch time. Family front and center. Let's get our stretches on. Come on, let's go. Ready? I mean, you're not stretching. Stretch, stretch it out. Stretch it out. Let's do this, guys. All right, you ready? Let's do this. All right, Team Aspen. You guys ready? No. Come on. You can do this. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh my God. <laughs> they go and do it. That's not happening. All right, one more try. Let's go. One, two, three. Well, I can lift my end. <laughs> All right, I got a new idea. Daryl. Troy, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good. I was just watching a video of you. <laughs> On the laser stuff? <laughs> Speaking of lasers, would you mind coming over and helping me move a laser? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I got to move this thing onto it, and we're trying right now in the garage, and we can't move it. Hello, Troy. Hello. Come to help me with a laser? I'm helping. Corner. One, two, three. Oh. And that's how you assemble one of these machines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's hook up the exhaust hose right here. So it comes with this cool little adapter. That's going to go in there, but we've got to attach this first. Now there was four screws on here, and you just take them out, put them into here, and I'm gonna screw it in, simple as that. Now we've got a clamp here. The clamp will go on top of here. There we go. Exhaust is hooked up there. Now I'll just hook it up to the outside. So I just vented my Mira 9 right out the wall uh, to the outside. You guys can use uh, any way. You can vent out a window or you can use an indoor fume extractor, whatever works for you. All right, guys, we got to add some distilled water to the water chiller here. What's really cool about the Mira 9 is the water chiller is actually built right into the machine. 
So it just makes a really nice sleep finish. You don't have the external chillers sitting on the floor. Everything on this unit's actually built right in. So I really appreciate that. So we're gonna add distilled water. Distilled water only, guys. I got a funnel. And we've got an indicator here that tells us if, it's, if the uh, water level is normal, full. So pretty easy, standard stuff. So let's just go ahead and fill it up. You know what this little key's for? Let's open up all these little locks on the machine. So we're gonna open up the cabinet here and check out the CO2 tube and just give it a good inspection before we fire it up. So here it is. So we just wanna make sure that we inspect it, make sure everything looks good on it, no cracks, nothing happened in the shipping. Give it a good look. We also wanna just gonna give a little tug on some of these tubes. Make sure that they're nice and tight. Just a gentle little tug on them. Everything looks great here. I got the power. I know, it's just a power cord. Not that interesting, but I do have a little tip I wanna share with you guys. Something that uh, that one with a laser, Emily, taught me, so I wanna share it with you guys. If you guys haven't checked her out, she's on YouTube as well, that mom with a laser, so this tip's from her. It's a great tip. If your laser ever just stops working or whatever, it's probably a power issue. If you just lost power and you're wondering, what the heck, I got no power. Well, here's what I wanna show you. All right, if you guys ever see that you've lost power and you can't figure out why, it could be a fuse. So right in here, there's a little fuse that you just need to check and see if it's good. Now, of course, it's good. It's a brand new machine, but if you ever lose power, you might find that your fuse is blown. And it might just be a very easy fix just like that. There we go. Power's in. All right, guys, so I got this thing all plugged in. So the next thing is we have to release the e-stop. So we're just gonna kind of give it a twist and up like that. It's out. And then as you can see, it's out, it's in out so that's how that works then we're going to click this key and when i do that for the first time water is going to rush through the tube and you're going to hear water do not worry about that that's completely normal so i'm going to fire this thing up and we're going to go and watch the water there it goes So this won't happen every time, it's only on your first startup. And that's it. All right, it's all fired up. I actually think this thing looks really sleek. The LED lights along the sides just give it a really modern and sleek, futuristic look. All the clean finishes. Very cool looking machine. So let's get to the next part. All right guys, so it's time to align the mirrors. Now this is something that Eon USA actually does before it leaves its factory, but you never know what can happen during shipping and I wanna make sure that this thing is dead on before my first cut. So I'm not gonna actually show you how to do it because Danny from Eon USA has already done that for us. So I'll link that in the description below and you guys can follow along and let's get to it. Well, that was pretty easy. I got the mirrors all aligned. She's pretty much ready to cut. So we're gonna head over to Lightburn and the first thing I wanna cut is this testing file. So it allows me to test all the cut settings and engrave settings on a material. So I'm gonna cut that first and then we're gonna cut something pretty. But just a little tip too, keep these little um, markers, these little targets, because you might need them again. Let's go cut. All right guys, so we are in Lightburn. But the first thing we gotta do is actually hook up the laser to the computer. So I just stick the USB into here, 
connect it to the computer, and we're good to go. All right, so we have to connect this Mira 9 to this computer. So I'm going to go to the devices list here, and Eon has provided a USB, and you have to put your USB into your computer, and we're going to import a file that's on there. Now I've already taken it off the USB and put it here because I only have one USB slot available on my Mac Pro here. So we are looking inside the settings and we are looking for this one here, mira9usb.lbdev. So I'm going to open that. I'm going to click OK. All right, now we're going to go over here to the bottom right where it says Rita644XG and I'm going to select my Mira 9 USB. All right, so we are all connected. Cool. So the first thing that I want to cut is my material testing file. So basically this file allows me to um, cut a sampling of different uh, cut speeds and powers and different engraved speeds and powers on a specific material. So it allows me to pick the best settings for that material. So I cut this file or a similar file on pretty much every material that I use so that I just know the uh, cut speeds and powers and the ideal settings for any particular material. So where do we find this file? We're going to head over to the Eon Laser Operator Group. We're going to go over to the Files tab. I'm going to scroll down here to the Material Rapid Test Lightburn file. And as you see, Danny posted it here, so I'm going to click that and download it. Let me just show it into the Finder. I'm just going to drag it out onto my desktop so I know exactly where it is. All right. I'm going to import that. Just import. So there it is, guys. Now, as you can see, it's got all the different uh, settings and stuff, so I'm gonna, not going to touch any of this stuff. And it's just going to be able to cut it out and give me a really good idea of what my ideal settings are for this particular material. So I'm going to send this over to the laser. And let's go see what we got. All right, guys, so we're pretty much ready to cut here. I've got my material in, which is the Columbia Forest quarter inch pure bond. Now I just want to autofocus this machine onto that material. So, very simple. We're going to click the ZU button. I'm going to scroll down to autofocus. I'm going to hit enter, and it's a very cool feature of this machine. That's it. It is focused in. So, um, everyone's different, but in Lightburn, I like to have this as current position and going from my top left. So that's basically how I'm going to frame in and basically know where on the board that this file is going to cut. So I want it in the top left just to save material. So I'm going to go and put my file in now. We're going to click the file button. I'm going to click on the material. That was the name that I gave that particular file. So I've already set where I want the laser to start. I know I'm going from the top left because that's what I set it into the light burn. Now I'm going to click origin and then I'm going to click frame and watch what happens when I click frame. So that basically tells me where it's going to cut. So perfect. I like where it is on the board. So now let's just go ahead and do it. So I'm going to close the lid here. And let's hit start. And there it goes. It's looking real good, guys. This thing's pretty fast, too. I love it. And there it is, guys. My material test. So. It cut really good at the 40 millimeters per second and 90 power. It actually cut really well through all of them, but I'll use 40 millimeters per second and 90 power, and we're going to cut my monogram. Guys, so let's import the monogram. There it is, the M, Mira 9. So this is our best-selling design by far. 
So I figured it's very fitting to be the first cut on the new Mira 9. Um, well, not the first cut, but the first artistic cut. So we're gonna just go over here and look at the cuts and layers panel. And I've got 40 spe uh, speed and 90 power, which I know it cuts through based on the test cut that I did before. So that's gonna work out perfect. And we're just gonna send the art over to the laser and away we go. We'll call it monogram. And there we go. Now also I wanna point out to you guys that a lot of times I use the frame button here. Remember I showed you in the last uh, example that I use the frame button on the actual machine itself. But I actually uh, just position the head where I want on the board using Lightburn and I also just use this frame button here and I just look to my left. But for the purposes of these videos, it's easier for me to cut away and then record me doing it over at the laser. So um, that is an option if you want to use it, but we're going to uh, do it from the laser. So I've already sent it over, so let's get at it. All right, I've got a board put in. I'm just going to bring the head over top of the board and then we're going to hit the autofocus. Remember how to do that? We click the ZU, go down to autofocus, we click enter, and then it does this. Pretty cool feature. So again, I'm going to position in the, this in the top left corner of my board. Then I'm going to bring in the file. So I'm going to hit file. And the name of our file was monogram, so that's perfect. I'm gonna click enter. And there we go, we're ready for that. I'm going to click origin, because I've already placed the head where I want it. And then I'm going to click frame, and it'll frame it where I want. It looks good. It's on the board everywhere I want to go. I'm going to close the lid. And we're gonna click start. And there it goes, guys. And there it is, all done. The Mira 9. So there it is, guys, the Mira 9. That's it for me. Did the full setup, create to cut. Hope you guys found this video useful. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, hit the little bell notification. We'll see you on the next one.